Hey guys, welcome to another video. Woke up really early. I'm feeling a bit sleepy because yesterday was a friend's party, but it's okay. Today we're gonna be training with a special guest, Faiz Arifin. This guy is just an all-around inspiration. He inspires me to to just want to become better. So right now we're gonna head over to the gym and I'll see you guys over there. So I'm not too sure where this place is. My first time here, but we got the one and only, the beast, the master, Faiz Arifin. What's up, man? What's up, bro? Good morning, man. How are you guys? It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> I think the last time we did the video was like end of the year. Was it end of the year last year? Last year, I think so. Holy shit. How many hours did you go to sleep just now? I slept at 4 a.m. yesterday. Oh, you slept later than me. I slept, I think, around 3 something. It's okay, man. We had some pre workout, you know? Definitely. <laughs> Faiz gave me a, a pair of joggers right here, so thanks, buddy. We're gonna my get changed to the win, man. My On my opinion, this is yeah, really, really comfortable. Absolutely <laughs> gear. Dude, thanks so much, man. Try to stretch like this? Yeah. Really good, really good. <laughs> Glad you like it, man. I'm a really tall guy, right? <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yeah, I think we're yeah. ready, man. <laughs> Let's do it for the guys, man. Let's do this. So, first exercise, what we're gonna do, um, just basic barbell bicep curl. Empty bar, just curl it up to the top, get a good squeeze, two to three seconds, and then we go down slow. Nice. Bro, your guns are so huge, man. Thanks. So it's not really that huge. It's just that it's lean, so it makes that illusion since that it's bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Look at your arms. We're gonna go for 10 kilo this side. So they're probably gonna be about 40 kilo. About four or five reps. Um, just slow sets. Um, focus on eccentric movement. Let it burn. Um, don't have to go too fast. Nice. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Damn. <laughs> 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 so, uh, second exercise we're gonna do dumbbell pressure curl. Um, again, same thing, we're just gonna really focus on squeezing the muscles. One. Like this. Yep. So the way you're only putting pressure on the tension on the biceps. Key thing is if if you are able to still stimulate the muscle group without involving other muscle group, you're still fine. Another 10 kilo. Another 15 maybe. Damn bro, you're serious man. <laughs> serious man. I'm serious. Woo! You can't move it. Yeah, I'm kidding. No way man. Yeah. Yeah. Cannonball for easy. Come on, buddy. Five. Come on. Six. Come on. Dimi, come on. Seven. There you go. Eight. Come on, come on. A bit more. Nine. Let's go, buddy. Ten. Two more. Come on, I like. Home run. Eleven. Sick. Dude, well done for filling the requirement. <laughs> May I ask why do we do four sets? Is there any specific explanation? I don't know. I've lately I've been doing a lot of four sets. Uh, I find four sets seems quite nice. Um, first set sort of like a try and error on what we is good to start off with, and then uh, the, the last three is sort of like really emphasizing on the muscle stimulation. Mm, okay, I know yeah. in Chinese it's not a good number. It means death. <laughs> Smart but man. If you look in a bodybuilding term, death means good. Mm. That means you're killing it, crushing nice, it. Nice, Make nice, nice. <laughs> So instead of putting it on our forehead, we're gonna bring it down behind our head and then extend it fully to so get more contraction on the tricep long head. Look at the tricep long head. Um, dude, your tricep is swole, man. That's right. Sick. 
Come on, 10 more reps. That's 15 reps, bro. Sick. Yeah. It's shredded, man. No, bro. This exercise, you're gonna do uh, dips, body weight dips, as much rep as possible. Oh, Easy, shit. point out that. Alright, buddy, let's go. Don't stop, man, don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop, buddy. Yeah. 30. Woo! <laughs> Take a single more. Nah. There Done. Thanks so much for the training, man. I'm pumped, man. Are you pumped, bro? Yeah, super. Super pumped, man. So we're gonna move on to Q&A, bro? Yeah, definitely. Let's kill it, man. Let's get to know Faiz a bit more. Hello, Alex channel. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, Faiz is also an optimal nutrition athlete. Yeah, Timo uh, One. Timo One, man. So, Faiz is such a huge inspiration, and honestly, I look up to this guy. Even before like, I haven't met you, I really look up to him. Thank so, honoured for him to be part of this series. It's, it's an honour for me to be in Alex. Like, honestly, guys, I've not been doing videos for quite some time. Um, I'm slowly getting the hang of it, and I think meeting Alex today definitely an inspiration <laughs> for me to start back on my YouTube. Yeah, if you guys um, want to see him back on YouTube, comment down below. Yeah, yeah, just go ahead. Please get back on YouTube. Get on YouTube, there. man. <laughs> All right, we're gonna ask Fai some awesome questions. What kind of person would you like before bodybuilding? Ooh, that's quite interesting. Mm. It's a long time ago. <laughs> how, many, how many years have you been training actually? Um, for me, I've been training I think more than a decade. So that's about like 10 years plus. 10 years plus. Uh, but back then when I started um, into lifting, being fit in general, um, it was nearly for sports performance. So ever since when I was young, um, I'm always athletic. I'm always the, the kid that is always active, mm. moving around, never sit still, nah, yeah, yeah. bang into the mirror, lose my tooth. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story, guys. I wish I had a video back then. Right, um, right. I was active. Um, and uh, I think back then, the first uh, sports that I took was uh, Taekwondo and swimming. Oh, wow. And I still remember I competed in the swimming competition when I was uh, five years old on stage. Um, got first medal uh, for freestyle swimming wow, very athletic, and, and I, I remember then seeing the picture I have like four pack wow yeah. I mean five years old five years old damn and, 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 and I discovered what apps what bicep triceps mm. when I was 12 swimming I was doing taekwondo uh, the black belt and then Super I was active, yeah. playing tennis uh, ping pong badminton wow. basically um, jack of all trade uh, but I think my true passion was back then when I started sprinting because I know I got that capability of uh, doing uh, short bursts, uh, more VO2 max um, requirement. So mm. when I was in primary school, I was quite oh, active with track and field. Yeah, yeah. 100 meter is always very. What was the timing? 100 meter. Uh, close to 10. Um, close to 10. Not like 10. It was like late 10. Late 10. Yeah, so it's about like 11, 1, 11, 2. Oh, wow, that's uh, fast, guys. That, yeah. That's fast. It's, it's not as fast enough. Um, mine's, like so two, mine's like 14. <laughs> still good. But I'm sure you have a very strong endurance because you have that long leg. No, 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 so no, if no. I go with him like one mile, two mile, definitely lose. Were you a very confident person? Um, to be honest, um, not really. I got confident more after I get into bodybuilding. So back then, I'm a chess player. <laughs> chess player? Yeah. Oh, you play chess? Yeah. Oh, we, we, really gotta play chess. we gotta play chess. I do play chess. I compete as well. People back then know me a lot because of uh, fitness. Because mm. I used to be a good sprinter. I think people know me as the Olara Gawain uh, Scuola. Right. So I was quite pretty. That helped me a lot. Nice, so I think nice, what nice. can benefit you guys from here, whatever story that I share with you guys, uh, I think fitness is one thing that can actually um, bring you confidence. An area which you can also um, break the boundaries when it comes to uh, being shy. So how did bodybuilding change your life? Um, well, I think it's seriously bodybuilding right again after my high school. Um, I think the movie is called Twilight. Twilight. Yeah, Taylor Lautner. Taylor Lautner, <laughs> yeah. I keep, yeah. It's the same story that I share with others. Some of you guys that have been following my journey know it as well. Uh, Taylor Lautner was the guy that inspired me. I think bodybuilding slowly, I get better and better and a lot of people start to ask for advice. Um, and that inspired me to share more knowledge across everyone. I think during those times, I was the first Malaysian to be featured on bodybuilding.com as well. Yes, yes, yes. It was yes, yes. back in 2011, I think. Uh, 2011 or 2012? 
12. 12. 12. Yeah. 12. 12. 12. So I was featured, I was the first mission to be featured there, and I think when I went to the gym, everyone started to ask me, yeah, you're the guy from bodybuilding.com. Damn. And then I think that was the first time I got the exposure. And you went from like being a nerd into like. Yeah, yeah. It's still a nerd because I did a lot of reading back then to mm. do research. Then I started to get more exposure here. Um, it's a recognition and also it opens your eye because you meet with so many people. Would you say that bodybuilding has uh, has, has opened careers or uh, opportunities to, to you? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm, right now, I've been, some of the business models that I've been doing lately are uh, re- revolving around fitness. Mm. And if I think the main key thing is if you are passionate about whatever that you're doing, be it fitness or non-fitness related, if you're truly passionate about it, I think you can actually make a play out of it. Mm. Um, of course, I think uh, planning is very important, but at the same time, uh, give full energy out of it. Yeah. The idea will definitely will come in mm. and, 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 and try to develop more skill set and knowledge in the area so that mm. you are well versed. Um, the main key thing is to be being the best in whatever that you are passionate about. Like Alex is very passionate about sharing positivity and also knowledge to you guys hence why you guys following his vlog considering us in Malaysia also being able to do all these things is quite unique yeah, yeah. because most of the time we always see in US market like all these big players uh, like Matt Olgis, Christian Guzman it's possible I think like fitness for myself definitely being able to make a career out of it for me I'm able to um, collaborate with few big brands Under Armour, Under Armour Optimum Nutrition, Optimum Nutrition uh, Air Asia Air Asia as well for definitely anything is possible if you mm. think because I think we have that stigma back in the past even until now, uh, especially to our generation, our parents always say like, uh, fitness won't get you anywhere. Yeah. And normally it's the traditional occupation, which is like doctor, engineers, um, accountants. Uh, you can go far if you do like bodybuilding, fitness. You can't go anywhere. But I think in that's this what era, yeah. that's what they think. Yeah. Uh, so I think in fitness, anything possible. If you're passionate fit- about it, yeah. if you really put time and effort. Can be done. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm very successful, but I think I'm sort of uh, there in a way that I think I can make a living out of it. All right, third question. Yeah. What was the one attitude that you had that has gotten you all the success today? I think one attitude that uh, keep me going until now is driven to achieve more. Um, I think the mentality of stay humble hustle is number one which is uh, inspired by Ezzy Gear, another brand that I'm sponsored mm-hmm. by, <laughs> Team Ezzy Gear. Um, yeah, just stay humble, hustle hard. Uh, basically, hustle hard means uh, continuously putting more effort, never stop. Uh, to improve. Improve, work hard on a daily basis, always uh, give 110%. Nice. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a consistent thing, so it can't be just a period of time and then you stop. You have to be ongoing. So, mm-hmm. key thing again, passion. So, if you have passion, that continuous uh, effort putting in will definitely sustain you for a period of time. If you're not passionate about it, you will break down and burn out. All right. So, yeah. I got one last question for you. Is uh, any motivation to the viewers, the awesome viewers? Number one key motivation thing that I would like to share with you guys is it's very top secret. Can't share it. <laughs> Just make sure that they are le- focusing on focus, it. Focus, guys. Focus. All right. So, the m- number one key thing that I would like to share with you guys is do something that you are very passionate about and go all out. It will take you a, a very long journey, and you can actually stray, stay true to it for a very long time. I think the number one key thing is to be very happy with whatever that you're doing. Like, I'm very happy with whatever I'm doing. Alex is very happy with whatever he's doing. Um, despite um, sometimes your close ones, your family uh, against whatever that you're doing, um, sometimes you just have to stay true to it. it? Um, just stay strong until to a point that you achieve to a certain level of sort of like uh, success, they will accept it eventually. Right, right, yeah, so right. don't, don't cheat yourself. Um, as in like, don't fake yourself. Do something that you really truly passionate about. Um, ask yourself if you still haven't um, figured out what you're passionate about. Just keep try out, keep, keep trying, trying. Check out uh, what's new. Try everything. Mm. And if you notice that um, similar trend of uh, doing something that you always do every day and you sort of like doing it every day, 
it might be thing that you're passionate about. Mm. Passion, hard work, or you can correlate that into hustle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice, yeah. simple and awesome. Simple. Uh, simple and nice, huh? Yeah. Keep it simple, man. Yeah, that's what's the secret. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> yes, brother. Thank you so much, man. My it's pleasure. an honor. It's thanks, an honor. thanks for being. Uh, thanks for having me here. If you guys want to see Faiz back on YouTube. Comment down below. Yeah, comment down Get below. Get this guy back, man. Like, I want to see for his our It's YouTube, a pleasure man. to be on LXG page no, I'm again. Trying. I'm <laughs> trying on it. So, like I said, this guy, honored and is huge inspiration, very humble, always hustling. And I learned a lot from you today, brother. Ah, thank you thank so you much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, man, keep it positive. Time. Keep the fire burning, huh? Peace out. <laughs>